guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess, and what I like to do is I like to just make relatable skincare and makeup content for women who just don't have all of the beauty guru things. So in this video, I plan on showing you my three-step skincare routine, really simple, what I've been doing lately in the morning to get ready, and then also this really easy, dewy, fresh, spring, summer look, even winter I've been doing it. <laughs> um, just something simple, no eyeshadow, no lipstick or anything like that, but something that just makes me feel prettier and more put together in really quick, easy steps. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So one of the things that is kind of, a, I guess, unique in this makeup experience <laughs> is that I don't use any fancy tools or brushes or anything. Actually, the only thing I do use is a beauty blender, but you don't have to use that. And I also encourage you, if you're kind of wanting to um, have this be a tutorial for yourself, don't worry about the actual name brands and what I'm the actual specific product that I'm using, just um, if you have a tinted moisturizer, you don't need to use the one that I'm using necessarily, just you know, follow along as far as the categories go if you want to, um, but don't necessarily get hung up on the specific brand. Okay, so if you don't know, if you missed my video where, I think it was my last video, <laughs> I announced that I am pregnant. And so because of that, and because of lack of sleep, because of, I don't know, something just has changed inside of me where I feel like I just don't want to go through all of the steps that I was going through before. And I am still taking care of myself and I still want to look my best, most days. <laughs> um, but I just don't, I don't know, I'm just not doing like my seven step skincare routine. And I know I've never really showed that before on my channel, my big routine, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you my pared down, quick and easy, my morning routine that still I feel like really does the job and keeps my skin maintained and healthy. So what I first do is when, in the morning time, I don't always have a lot of like dirt and yucky, you know, ness on me, but I still feel like I want to rinse off my face or wash it. Sometimes I will use a mild cleanser, but most of the time I go in with a damp microfiber cloth. You can use a, they have a bunch of different of these cloths nowadays, but um, my, the one that I really love is from Norwex because it dries really quickly and it has silver embedded in it. So it like cleans off, it kind of like prevents bacteria from growing inside of the cloth so I can reuse it over and over again or you know like three times before I need to wash it again. So it's really really fine too, it doesn't like tug on my skin much. So I just go over my face because the moisturizer that I use at night is a little bit thicker. I like to have kind of a mask on my face to help prevent any dryness from happening since I am normal to dry skin. And so I'm just going to go over the main areas where I feel most greasy and oily. Okay, so that was just cold water on a cloth and it really helps to freshen my skin, helps to pull in the oils into this cloth. And so everything, all the griminess and the stickiness of my night's sleep is now off of my face and I have kind of a fresh canvas, but I didn't have to use a lot of steps and it's really cheap too, to keep using this over and over again. <laughs> Next, I like what I like to do is I like to hydrate and bronze my face in one foul swoop. <laughs> so in the winter time and the spring time and fall, I like to use like more of a hydrating serum. This one is not only hydrating, but it's moisturizing. So this is Paula's Choice Resist Omega Complex. So this, I, I've talked about it before on my channel. Uh, I think it was in my beginner's guide to, or like where to start with your skincare routine. So I am still using this. I'm on my second one. I'm also on my second D Bronzy. This is from Drunk Elephant. It's a great bronzing serum that doesn't have any gross, both of these are like fragrance free, nothing really um, harmful at all in them, which is really great for when I'm pregnant. And so I try not to have any added fragrance or dyes or anything that could be harsh that could go into my bloodstream and go to my baby. So I will mix some of this. Or another alternative, is I recently discovered this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun. It's very, very similar. It has a little bit more of an orange tint to it, but when it's used very minimally, it doesn't, it's really sim It's really similar to the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. And I got this on sale from Bare Minerals. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing it, but 
this was like a third of the price of this. So uh, today, because I have used Deep Bronzy a lot on my channel, I'm actually going to show you kind of what the Bare Minerals looks like. And then I also will mix sometimes with a just, a, this is a Japanese brand, Hada Labo. Hada Labo. <laughs> uh, I got this on Yes Style, I believe, but this is just their premium hyaluronic acid toner. It's a serum essence. <laughs> and what it really does is just moisturizes my face. It kind of helps my any dry patches or anything. And it's a good mixing medium for a bronzing serum. So I will either go in with some of this or some of this. It doesn't matter. Just some kind of hydrating, moisturizing, uh, flaky, dry skin helping <laughs> serum. So I'm going to take some of this in my hand. I'm going to do two pumps. So I just put two drops on mixed in here. I'm going to mix it around on it with my fingertips and it's going to look quite dark. And so you can tell if I, if I just left it like that, you'd be very, it'd be very obvious that I have a bronzing tint on. So you want to just make sure that it's blended in nicely. This also works well as a darkening agent for a foundation or a tinted moisturizer that's too light. One area that I notice it kind of collects around is my eyebrows, so I have to make sure that it really <laughs> rubs into my eyebrows nicely. And same with the deep bronzer, you just have to be careful that, just like if you were blending in a foundation, you just need to make sure that it's nice and blended in and goes down your neck. But now you can see, <laughs> I really can't tell that there was this, you know, dark mask on me. It just adds, for me, I feel like I don't even need to wear a tinted moisturizer most days when I have this on, just adds a little bit of, it helps to even out my skin tone and add a little bit more of color to my skin, a little bit of life. <laughs> all right, sorry if the lighting is a little bit different. The sun is not out at all today. It's very cloudy and gloomy, <laughs> but I do have a light on and I hope it's just not too um, bright and weird, but I'm just gonna roll with it because it's been way too long <laughs> since I've had a video. I have so many excuses not to film, so I'm not going to let a cloudy day get in my way. <laughs> all right, so just to recap, all we've done is <laughs> are these three things so far, and I'm feeling a lot better even. I just feel like I feel a lot more fresh and hydrated, I have a little bit of glow, so it's all, it's all good. <laughs> And last step to this really quick skincare routine is a sunscreen. So I love this Paula's Choice. It's SPF 30, all mineral. It's a super lightweight. I like it so much that I've given it as gifts before. And the reason I love it is because it's not oily. It's more of like a lotion feel, but it doesn't leave like a oily slip or anything to your face. It actually is slightly tinted. So you can see it's slightly tinted. It's a very light tint, so it doesn't really add any color to my skin, but it does help with camouflaging white casts that can happen naturally with a mineral sunscreen. So, but again, use any sunscreen that you love, <laughs> but I do recommend any step of a skincare routine, if you can remember to put sunscreen on your face, that is the one to do. Now this is not going to rub off that bronzing serum, um, the bronzing serum had a little bit of time to soak in. Again, Paula's Choice doesn't add any fragrances or anything, any gross crap. <laughs> so uh, I really like to keep this skincare line, especially while I'm pregnant. All right, so even on a gloomy day, I still like to wear sunscreen unless I know for sure I'm not going outside. But even if I'm by windows, I just really want to make sure that I'm protecting my skin because that is the number one, um, best anti-aging product is sunscreen because you're not reversing some damage, you're actually preventing damage. So, sunscreen. All right, so now I go on to a tinted moisturizer. Now for tinted moisturizers, I love BB creams, tinted moisturizers, CC creams. And so what I have here is the Ipkin, I-P-K-N. And this was, Ulta had a really cool deal on this. I actually had my eye out on this before they had a cool deal on it <laughs> um, because it's a cleaner brand and it was more of an affordable BB cream. Because I like BB cream so much, I kind of go through them a little bit faster. My favorite though is NYX, 
NYX brand and that's really inexpensive. But this has an SPF of 45. Doesn't look make me look like a grease ball. It stays on all day. I've been using this for quite a while. So I have light here and then I have light medium. And I will mix them sometimes if I'm feeling like I look a little bit darker, but I'm actually just gonna do the light today because last time I mixed light and light medium, I felt like it was a little, little bit too dark. Like I was glad I was wearing a hoodie that day <laughs> and I only had from here up exposed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so any tinted moisturizer that you find that you love that's in the shade, the correct shade for you, just a little bit of squirt on the back of my hand and you don't need to use a beauty blender. You can just use your hand. I find that this particular one works better with a beauty blender. Some days I just totally bypass this because I'm feeling good with my <laughs> my bronzer on and I will just put some um, of concealer in the concealing areas that I need and be done and mascara and be done, <laughs> okay? But this is a couple more steps because I do plan on making a video after this, so I want to be have a little bit more. So I just take a little bit on the back of my hands and on the Beauty Blender. And I don't do my whole, whole face with this. Um, I just kind of start in from my nose in the more red areas and then go out, but I don't necessarily feel like I have to cover my whole face with this. So the reason, I was talking to a friend and she I had some questions about a beauty blender, so I thought I would say it in this video too, just in case you're unaware. Um, beauty blenders, what I really like to use them for is they help to kind of give a nice seamless finish. Sometimes brushes and fingertips leave different um, darkness, different depths, different type of blending out. And so a beauty blender to me just leaves a nice, almost airbrushed finish, if you will, or a more natural finish. Just a, a more flawless, a more flawless finish. So I don't feel like I need to bring it up like around a lot <clears throat> because it matches my skin so well. I'm not going to also feel like I have to cover my whole face with it because it should seamlessly blend into the rest of my skin. Plus I'm gonna be real the more you put on, the more you have to take off. <laughs> so sometimes I'm just like, I don't feel like I'm taking off my makeup at night or a lot of steps to take off my makeup. So I'm not going to put on a lot of makeup that day. <laughs> yeah, so that color, the, the shade light, really does work well for my skin tone for my winter and spring. No tan at all, very fair skin. Now for concealer, because this mama has tired eyes. <laughs> a lot of times I will use this Claire's Creamy Concealer, Creamy and Natural Fit Concealer. I love this so much. I have used this almost exclusively. I've used it not just under my eyes, but I've also used it around my nose and spot treated the more red areas of my face and that's it. It also is really nice and creamy and I don't feel like it's too, shiny, <laughs> lots of good things about it. But again, any concealer will do for you if you feel like you just want to conceal the darkness under your eyes. I had a friend, the same friend actually, she was gonna, she was getting ready for a wedding she was going to be in. And so she was asking me for some pointers. And so I was telling her, cause she wanted the bright look under the eyes. I said, you know, the concealer really does help depending on what shade you use. I like to use a shade that's really close to my skin tone. So this is more of a medium coverage as far as like, light means that you could probably still see a lot of blue coming through the dark circles. Medium is more of a natural look. So if I don't have any type of tinted moisturizer on or anything, it still looks good. It still kind of blends in with the rest of my skin. <laughs> and, um, but a high coverage would be very, very opaque and like where you would almost see the obvious, it'd be very obvious that you had concealer on. So I like to use this for more of my natural days, but if I wanted more of an opaque look, I actually do have two favorites here that I've used when I feel like I just really want more of a higher coverage. These are two thicker, creamier <laughs> concealers. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye and this is the Illumination. So it's very big, it, a tiny bit goes a long way. I'm gonna have this forever. <laughs> um, and then this is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. 
and I actually like to mix these two together because this is a little bit too light for me and this is a little bit too dark because this is in medium and then this one is in fair it's in 10 n so I, I kind of just mix again a little bit on my hand back of my hand and then I will put it on but today I don't feel like I need this I'm just going to show you what I do on a more quicker basis okay as you saw I put it up onto my eyelids too because I wanted to get rid of any blueness or any veining or anything like that um, and I'm not going to put on eyeshadow today <laughs> so uh, a lot of times I've been skipping eyeshadow or I've just been bringing maybe some bronzer up onto my crease and being and I'm done so just that's what we're doing today speaking of bronzer and in the same sale that Alta had they also had this flesh brand and it, this is a bronzer stick it's very similar to my Illamasqua one that I love this is the Illamasqua one that's a um, more of like a gel it's just darker and this is more bronzy I actually think I like the Illamasqua still better as far as contour goes but the flesh one works really nice for bronzing and contouring or brontouring. <laughs> so what I like to do, even if I feel like, if I'm just going one step above minimal <laughs> with my makeup, I like to carve out my cheeks because I am gaining weight with my pregnancy. It's just how it goes. <laughs> and so I like to bring back a little bit of shape to my rounder face. And I just used to do a tiny line Again, I can use my fingers or I can use a side of the beauty blender. So I'm going to squeeze the beauty blender to make it narrow and I'm just going to tap that and blend it up as well. And this will help to um, blend it in, I feel like, a little bit better into the tinted moisturizer BB cream. And especially if I use the bottom where I had some of the product, I can go over that and kind of blend out any harsh lines if that that contour stick may have had so you may be able to tell <laughs> just by looking at me how there's a little bit more of a shadow here than over on this side now this side does have a natural shadow still so i don't have any makeup on this side you can kind of see a shadow right there and that's kind of the example of where you'd want to have a contour line again this is the flesh stick <laughs> the shade is squeeze and it works well for my fair skin and it's very quick and simple and it blends out nicely. So that's what I do there. Now I also have a product that's new-ish to me, but I have been using it. I've been using it for months, so it's not super new to me, but I have never showed it on my channel. It's, this is the Too, Too Cool for School <laughs> Milk Tint and it's in the shade orange. So when I first bought this, I was like, I'm gonna get something orange for my face. I, don't, I didn't have anything in my blush collection that was this color. I thought it'd be pretty for, possibly pretty <laughs> for spring, and it actually is. So it's a lip and cheek tint, but I find that on the lips it really does nothing. It's like, it adds a little bit of color, but it doesn't stay on very long. And uh, I don't know, it's not my favorite on my lips, so I like to use it on my cheeks. And just kind of draw it on where I would have blush. And then I use my fingertips to swirl it up and around and dab. This is just a very, like it's a, t it's a tint. It's really, really light, but I still feel like it gives a nice natural, <laughs> more of a, a just look to me. Um, it's not orange, it's more corally. I think it looks pretty with fair skin. Sometimes I need to go back in and do a little bit more because it is such a light product. It's really good for a quick application. Because pulling out a blush brush is just one more step, one more thing that you have to do and put away and or have cluttered on your, <laughs> on the counter. So that's that. Really simple, adds a little bit of color. I like it. I also really like the um, Illuminaire. <laughs> this is the Perfect Color Mineral Blush. It actually has SPF 20 in it. And I got this on dermstore.com a long time ago. It is in the shade Fair. It comes in different, it doesn't come in like rose or, you know, wow, I almost said celery. What blush would be the name of celery? It <laughs> doesn't come in, that, in normal 
shades it comes in the actual like skin tone so what they feel like is best for your skin tone and so this is a really nice kind of neutral it reminds me of Tarte Party or like the Tarte that's my favorite powdered blush so it's more of just a neutral pink and it works really nice you just need a tiny little dab if you go online you're like $18 for this that that's expensive but I think this might last somebody I mean it's lasted me a year and a half so far and I've used probably uh, a tenth of it <laughs> so it's gonna last a long time for the price and it's also really clean as far as like clean beauty goes so I really like this and it does add a little bit more of a um, more color than just this little skin skin tint is that what it's called milk tint <laughs> quickly I'm going to go in with a highlighter stick this is the julep highlighter stick it is in the shade sheer glow it's called cream to powder i i know julep actually doesn't have it's kind of sad they don't have their subscription anymore and they don't have a like i think they might still be selling in ulta i'm not sure though but like i said don't worry about the brand i just love a stick highlighter i like everything that's just quickly swoop it on blend it in with your fingers Yes, this is the same finger that I used to blend in my blush. That's okay, this is going kind of on top of my blush. Sometimes I'll just use the next finger that's clean. Just a little bit of glow. If you notice, that's kind of my jam right now, or always has been. More of a healthy skin look, definitely not matte. So, yeah. Little glow, kind of can't even really tell much. I can tell in, in the natural light. So if you can tell, I'm going to get really close. If you can see, my under eyes are still a little bit dark, but that's just kind of normal. And I don't feel like they're too greasy or creasy. <laughs> so I'm not going to put powder on my face. That's one more step that I don't need to do with this concealer. But if I were to, I would use my uh, Ciate London this is the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. It's a teeny tiny little sample that I think I got in an Ipsy bag, but I love it so much. It's my favorite setting powder of all time for under eye, for the whole face, for anything. It is the finest, best powder ever. I'm not going to use it today because I don't feel like I need it. I will do a once look over on my eyelids to see if there's any creasing from the concealer and just kind of tap it out if there is. And then I'm going to move on to my mascara. So I just curled my lashes really quickly. Um, I like to do that because I find that I curl them before I add mascara because that's healthier for your eyelashes. <laughs> it doesn't clump them up and pull them out. But I like to curl them right before I put mascara on because it helps to curl my lashes and keep them up. And also the mascara will help keep the curl held there. So. I'm going to use YSL, the shock mascara. This is kind of more of my filming mascara. I do plan on again making a video right after this for my other channel. So I am going to use this. Some days I will just use more of a natural looking mascara, but this is definitely gives really nice black bold lashes. This is a sample size. I don't know if they make these in the small travel size anymore but I have quite a few of them because I love them so much. So I don't do the top of my lashes. I just take it from the base and I wiggle and I blink. I kind of blink it on. Make sure we get in the corner. So you can see the difference that mascara makes from one eye to the next. Um, like that's why I sometimes will just put on concealer and mascara and be done. Because if I have my bronzing serum with my skincare routine, um, I just, I have sometimes, I really don't feel like I need anything more. I mean, I don't need mascara, but it does really make a difference to me. It makes me feel just more put together and brings out uh, my features better, in my opinion. And while that coat is drying, because sometimes I like to put two coats of mascara on, so while that coat is drying, I will go in sometimes and brush my eyebrows or fill in my eyebrows a little bit. I've been using this It Cosmetics Brow Power Double Ended brow pencil for the longest time it's a it's in universal taupe and it works well for my blondish eyebrows <laughs> I 
I've never done an Instagram brow before. I've never had like a square chiseled brow. I just, I don't know. I never, I never jumped on that train. <laughs> I do like to kind of fill in some of the sparser areas really quickly. Probably, uh, this is the part of the video where you could just skip because I am not good at doing brows. But I do feel like what I do is enough to give a little bit more of a shape to my face. Because they say the brows are the framework of your face. So if I have time, I'll do my brows. If not, I'll at least brush them or swipe them with my finger <laughs> to make sure they're going up. <laughs> but I don't have unruly brows. I have very fine hair. So they just, they're never like really crazy. Mostly just like to fill them in. A quicker way of filling them in would be a brow mascara. I really like those. A brow, what are they called? Like a fiber brow, like the Gimme Brow from Benefit or Essence has one, NYX has one. It's like a little tiny wand that you just wipe through. My friend who has like really dark hair, she just uses a mascara and she says it works really well. So, I mean, I think she always looks beautiful. So I, I've never used mascara because I feel like my black mascara would not go well, but I could see how that would work well. So if you just have mascara, if you have dark hair, you wanna to try to put that through your eyebrows, why not? <laughs> Well, so guys, there you have it. Another just look that is very simple. And just what I've been doing lately, even um, a step up above what I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is more, like I said, when I am going out. <laughs> I can do more, you know, like a eyeshadow look and different things. But honestly, this is me. If you were to see me at the grocery store, uh, I might not even have as, you know, contour on, but <laughs> this is probably how I would look most days. And I think it's really simple. If I wasn't talking through the steps, I would be done in less than 10 minutes from skincare to makeup. So, and honestly, I don't have anything on my lips right now. Yeah, I would just use like a lip balm or something because that's how I've been rolling. <laughs> um, I do like to experiment with different lipsticks and lip glosses, but and sometimes I just have my natural lips. So that's why I'm not going to add anything to my lips. So yeah, I hope that this was enjoyable and maybe helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if there's any pressing video that you would love to see that maybe just isn't out there that you were wondering. Um, I like to tailor my videos more towards people who really don't have a huge collection of makeup or who are more new into the beauty world and to make it more relatable and not just like all the other big beauty gurus out there that have all these tools and all these things. I just feel like realistically, a lot of people don't have a huge makeup collection and so let me know if there is something even super basic you know what is highlighter and you know I could try to do something like a five minute video of why I use highlighter and my favorites and then an application tip or trick so uh, I will leave a couple of my favorite channels down below if you are looking for more content because I know I'm not faithfully uploading right now and I can't promise that I will be faithfully uploading, but I will leave favorite channels in the description box that do upload and that I feel like have, um, just <laughs> that I enjoy watching and I feel like I relate to, so maybe they would help you out and, um, you know, you could relate to them as well. So I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. It's a girl! <laughs>